Hi, welcome to Trade Right. This is your host Ranveer, and in this video, we are going to show you the process to coat your screen. So for that, you require your frame, which is attached to your screen. Then you require your emulsion and sensitizer. Or if you have your direct emulsion, you can put it directly, or you have to mix your emulsion with sensitizer. And you require some other equipment with a scoop coater. And remember one thing, guys. In this process, there should be a light safe environment where there should not be much light around you. If you have much light, your film or your exposing won't come. So there should be a dark room or there should be a light safe environment until and unless like we'll dry the screen and wash out the screen. Till then you have to maintain the dark environment. So I'll tell my colleague to switch up the light. So you can see how that we had made a dark room type of thing here so that you will get the exposing properly. So we'll on the light again and show you the process. So take an empty container like this uh, and make it a little bit dark container so light should not pass through it so that you can store the emulsion after some days of mixing. So first of all you need to put the emulsion here. We'll put the emulsion first. Oh. And we'll put it first. And we have put the emulsion. After putting emulsion, we'll off it. Then we'll mix the sensitizer. But remember, guys, when you mix your sensitizer, it should be a light self environment. Like you should be dark enough so that it doesn't get spoiled because this is UV, UV activated. So because if you get more light, your screen will be exposed before it goes to the exposing unit. So it should be a light safe environment. I'll show you how the light safe environment. I'll tell my colleague to switch up the light. See, we are making, we made a light safe environment here so that you can do your coating easily. This is the light safe environment you have to maintain. Please on the light. So for showing you purpose, we on the light and show you. But when you are doing, doing the light safe environment and after exposing and everything is done, then you can keep it anywhere. There's no like uh, problem or issues will coming uh, come after that. But until and unless you don't wash out your screen, till then don't keep it in a light full UV lighted to don't put it in don't coat it in outside or in sunlight or inside a tube if you are doing uh, if you are the light just put a live UV free light so that you will get a light safe environment so we'll put the sensor now and the mixing ratio is 90 by 10 10% sensitizer and 90% emulsion. Now we we'll stir it up so that the sensitizer and emulsion get mixed nicely. So you have to give a couple of stairs nicely. You have to stay for next two three minutes. Mixing is almost done. The bubbles are coming out. So mix it nicely. Nice and slow. After mixing, if you require some more emulsion, just put it. Because I feel some more emulsion required. But if you don't, so we are we are doing it for last couple of years, so we have that uh, measurement. But if you are doing by yourself, always advisable to take a measurement tray or measurement cup. You will get cup like this, 
where the uh, measurements will be there 5 ml 10 ml like that use that type of cup so that you will uh, don't keep more emulsion because more emulsion the skin will go to overexposed overexposed mean you are washing and washing this your matter will not come out your image will not come out so you should so it should not be overexposed it should be not underexposed if it underexposed your matter will break Every, like here and there it will get break so it should not be underexposed should not be overexposed it should be normal exposed in the middle of that now we'll put the emulsion in a scoop coater after putting the emulsion we'll keep the thing aside we we'll keep see in the scoop coater we have two sides one is thick one is thin so it's up to you which side you want to do you are thicker emulsion you can put the thick side if you are the thin emulsion then you can put the thin side now we'll take a screen if you are new to the screen printing just hold the screen like this and put it something so that your screen doesn't move but if after some time you can do like this also so that we'll take something in support and we'll put it like this i'll show you from this side we'll put it like this and we'll take the emulsion down to the screen and we'll coat it slowly see if you're using the bigger scoop coater as i showed you that scoop coater is good for bigger screen but as you are using only one M screen that's why i'm using the small scoop cutter and doing double scoop and one more touch here So this coating is done. If you want to do this side, you can do this side also. No issue. Just take your emulsion. I usually don't do, but if you want to do, is uh, free to do. Now our coating is done. We'll keep the emulsion aside and take our electronic piece and even the surfaces. So your coating is done. See, coating in scoop coater will give you thin coating and coating in regular plastic like that or in a master car will give you thick coating. And whatever the extra emulsion you can take out if you are doing in a bigger scoop quota one size there is no need to take out the emulsion but as we have done is smaller quota so we are taking out the emulsion so coating is done this is how you have to coat the screen and for the next video we will show you how to expose the screen and do you remember we